Welcome back to Insight. We're talking with leaders at the Quad Cities Chamber to hear about new programs lifting up small businesses. And now we're going to speak to the owner of one of those small businesses. Nadia Coley is the owner of Royal Lotus Nails. Thanks for being with us today, Nadia. No problem. Thank you for having me. Of course. So tell us a little bit about your business. Where is it? What type of services do you have to offer? Uh, my business is Royal Lotus Nails. Um, it's a nail salon. Uh, we are at 235 West 35th Street in Sweet. Sweet 2B here in Davenport, and we offer all nail services. So we do artificial, we do natural nail care, we do pedicures, manicures, um, artwork, all of those things we do offer that at the salon. What led you to starting that business? You know, for a long time, I wanted to go to the nail salon and just relax and <laughs> be enjoy myself. It was my time away. Unfortunately, there was a lot of times that I didn't receive that, what I was looking for. And so I said, you know, why can't I offer it, it what I'm looking for to people who possibly are looking for the same thing that I was? And so I went on my journey to become a nail tech. <laughs> and how's that journey been for you so far? It's been wonderful. It's been stressful. It's been definitely a journey. So, you know, you go from not having a business to having a business and then trying to grow a business. It's, it's, it's rewarding, but it's a challenge as well. You know, you have to put the work in. So, but I'm happy for where I am and where I've come. And speaking of some of those challenges, obviously, when people talk about starting businesses, getting it off the ground mm -hmm. is really your first big challenge. So, so who helped you get Royal Lotus Nails off the ground? You know, in all honesty, it was a situation where I didn't know anything about having a business. I didn't know anything about um, owning a business. I didn't grow up in a situation where, you know, <laughs> we had businesses or family had businesses. I grew up in a working class family in Gary, Indiana, so, you know, my mom had to work hard, and it was really about me, you know, taking the time to learn and read and figure out what I need to do and where I need to go to get the business started. Um, it was just not something that I really had the help with. I, I was looking, and unfortunately, a lot of the programs that are available, I didn't know about them when I first started. And so now, you know, I, I've gone on this journey and I've gotten to where I am putting the work in and I'm starting to learn about all of these wonderful programs that are available that I wish I knew um, in the beginning, but I am still taking advantage of and being able to, you know, start to incorporate into what I have going and help other people, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, learn about these programs and what's going on. So tell me about those type of programs and resources that you've taken advantage of so far. What are they? Um, the, one of the most recent ones is Lift Women's um, Foundation. Um, they are an organization that I was introduced to by Brandy um, from the Quad City Chambers of Commerce. Um, and she introduced me to them. And it is a program where they provide microloans micro to um, women and minority women owned businesses and women driven businesses um, to help them get started or help them build or grow or do what it is that they need to do financially that they may not be able to walk into a bank and just get along because they haven't established that business credit yet. Mm. And how's that helped you? So far? <laughs> <laughs> it's been, it's, it's very exciting. Um, it's, it's allowed me to be able to um, do more things that I needed to do in the salon to be able to get it up to the point and standard that I am really looking for this salon to be. And so it's something that I wasn't able to do and now I have the funds to be able to take care of the things that, you know, we wanted to take care of inside the suite. Talking about your business, um, you have obviously gotten it off the ground now. It's up and running. Uh, when you talk about growing it, how are you continuing to do that, and, and what does that look like in your eyes? Well, initially, when I first started, I, I literally walked into an office that I was renting. It was a small office space. I walked into that space with a trolley <laughs> full of supplies and... Now I have a full salon where I have techs working in there with me. Um, I have six desks. I have two suites where we are starting to grow and we are looking for now um, an esthetician to come in and work with us and we're looking for, you know, a couple of other people to come in and, and uh, I, 
I didn't have anything when I started. Now I have a whole space. I have a whole collection of things that I'm working with. And I have girls under me now that I can mentor, that I can guide. And that's really important to me because I did not have mentorship. And it was something that I was looking for. And I've been able to grow myself to a place where I feel confident to be able to help these young ladies become and grow and learn, you know, in ways that I didn't have. That has to feel pretty good to say, right? It's amazing. Yeah. It's, a, it's amazing. <laughs> you know, you, talking, hearing you talk about it is just so interesting because this was literally a dream of yours yes. um, that just got started, you know, just by saying, you know, I want that good experience, and now you're able to give that good experience to people. Tell me about how rewarding that is um, as both the person who had that dream and now this current business owner. It, it's something that I take pride in. Um, I enjoy being able to sit across from people and hear their journeys, hear where they come from, hear where they're, they're going, what they aspire to be, and being able to be on the other end of that and give them something back, you know, and share with them where I've come from, what I've been through, and, and how I've gotten to where I am. And it's just very rewarding when you have people that tell you Oh, this has just been so great. I'm so glad I met you. It's been, it's been so wonderful to interact with you, you know, because sometimes you don't get that when you go places. I don't want people to come in and see me and feel like they're another number. I want them to leave feeling beautiful and relaxed. And it's such a joy and pleasure to be able to provide that to them. And, you know, your story is, is probably one that has been repeated uh, quite a bit, right? Mm -hmm. People having a dream, having an idea, and just finding what they need to find to go out there and achieve and accomplish that dream. Mm -hmm. What do you tell people that are still in that beginning stage, haven't really quite gotten their business off the ground yet, maybe haven't even started you know, making or offering their product? What do you say to them in terms of how they can get to that step of becoming a business owner? Well, first thing is um, don't quit. Always push and don't doubt yourself. Because there are times where it's, it's going to get hard, you know, and you have to make sure that you have that drive and it's really what you want. So don't quit on your dreams, you know, just keep pushing. You know, they say push, pray until something happens, but at the same time, you still have to work. You know, you can't just sit back and wait. You have to get up and you have to move. So always, 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 you know, push yourself and make sure that you're doing everything you need to do on your end. Um, because we, most of us don't have things handed to us, so we have to work hard. And you can't be afraid of hard work. It's something that is required in order yeah. <laughs> to be a successful business owner. So always just push, don't quit, and keep moving forward. If something falls, if something messes up, figure out what you need to do and just keep pushing forward and keep going on. Don't ever quit. Yeah. Don't ever give up. Great advice, Nadia. Thanks so much. We appreciate you. No time. problem. Thank you. All right. Well, there's still plenty to come on inside. Up next, we're going to meet another business owner on the scene here in the Quad Cities. Conversation continues on Insight.